Anyone who has lived through the 80s knows <laughs> that you, you, when everyone, everything was low fat this, low fat that, everyone had to be eating a fat free diet, we learned how, how poorly that went. Um, because we need fat. Fat is absolutely essential in our bodies. It is in every cell wall. It is, it is necessary to keep, to keep our body functioning correctly. It's a matter of, okay, well, what kinds of fat are you eating and, and how much fat are you eating? The best kind of fat to get is one that um, I'm sure many of you have heard of is omega-3 fatty acids. Um, the best source of omega-3 fatty acids is actually salmon salmon and trout and oysters, a lot of it is the, the fattier fish that tend to be higher in omega-3 fatty acids. There are lots of fish that people eat, um, one of the most common is tilapia, that's actually really quite low in omega-3 fatty acids. And so it's about eating fish and getting your omega-3 fatty acids, but um, getting the, the fish that are higher in omegas, most certainly. Because the other thing is, when we all talk about, yeah, you need to get more fish, the, the other thing that you look at is, well, we don't, we don't want people to get too much mercury, and it is always a balance of those different things. Mm -hmm. Fish is an amazing source of omega-3 fatty acids, much better than any of the plant sources, and we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, and you're getting, actually, you can always take supplements. You can either take fish oil or krill oil. Um, but what some of the studies have shown is that it's actually more effective when you're, when you're eating it through food. And that's one of the things that we've seen pretty much across the board in most things that usually, and there's some exceptions like vitamin D, usually eating your nutrients is better than supplementing. There are other sources of omega-3 fatty acids. And I heard flaxseed, which is a great one. Uh, another one is salva seed, which is also, salva is the brand name, it's also known as chia seed. Almost all, in almost all cases, um, eating things less processed is better, but flaxseed is one of the exceptions. Our bodies can't break down the cell walls. So there are all these fabulous omega-3s in it, but if it's not ground flaxseed, we're not absorbing it. Salva is the brand name that they've done research on. It's actually helpful with things like diabetes, high blood pressure, so on and so forth. It's a really good source of things like magnesium and, and other things, as, as all seeds are. Um, it's, it's shelf stable as it is. Um, Salva is the brand, which can be quite pricey. You can also, if you find chia seeds, it's it's the same plant, essentially. That and walnuts are, are good sources of omega-3 fatty acids, but they're a different kind than we usually think of. EPA and DHA is much more anti-inflammatory than ALA. Um, EPA and DHA is what you find in fish. Um, the, the ALA is what you find in flax or salva or walnuts. They're all good for you. They're all important. But when we do the studies, most of the studies done on like RA, on like heart soy. disease, and on all sorts of other things are really looking at the fractions of, of fish or krill oil, the EPA and DHA, which seem to have more effect. Um, obviously, ALA still has a big part in your, in your, in your diet. I mean, especially things like flax seeds um, are shown to, to bump up your HDL, your good cholesterol. Um, the lignans in them are, are protective against breast cancer. So there's, I mean, there's lots of great things about flaxseed. Um, about 15% of, and it's, it's very proximate, of um, the ALA and things like flax or walnut convert over to EPA. Um, but the conversion rate is poor, and it also depends on the other things in your diet, the toxins you're exposed to, and other things along those lines. So we, we, need omega, we need both omega-6s and 3s. They're essential fatty acids. We can make fat in our diet. That's what happens when we, when we eat an excess of carbs, an excess of protein. We store it as fat. But omega-6s and omega-3s are things that we, absolutely, we, we can't make. Um, we can't. We need to eat them. We can't make them from other foods. So that's why it's important to, to eat them. If you have or if you see on, you know, look in your cabinet at home and if you see vegetable oil um, or corn oil, you know, the, the Wesson bottles, those are, those are corn or soy and very high in omega-6s. And you're much better off having um, something like olive oil, which is omega-9s, which is much less inflammatory and much, a much better bet overall to have something like olive oil rather than, rather than something like butter. Um, so this, the fats we've talked about so far, we talked about omega-3 fatty acids, which are in fish and walnuts and flax and salva, and omega-6s, which are in things like corn and soy um, and pumpkin seeds and sunflower seeds and, and other things along those lines. 
Um, both of those are essential. And we do need saturated fat in our diet. I mean, we, we need a certain amount for our cell membranes and everything else to function. Um, but overall, butter overall tends to be something that is pro-inflammatory. Um, and so isn't, isn't the best overall because most people are getting many, much more saturated fat than they need.